On the menu tonight are turkey clubs with homemade fries. It's a pretty simple meal to put together. In fact, we did this in under 30 minutes. Now, I was a little hesitant to even do this tonight because turkey club's really not a meal. But uh, the thing with the turkey club is whenever it's turkey club night in our house, because that's in the normal rotation, maybe once a month, once every two months we have it, Crystal gets so excited about turkey club night. So I thought, well, why, why not do it? Why not show everyone how we make the club? So we make the turkey club and french fries to go along with it. And the good thing about this recipe is a lot of times you have all the ingredients already in your kitchen. So if you ever one night at dinner don't know what you're going to make, it's a good chance you could go ahead and make uh, this for dinner. Yeah, let me tell you why I get so excited. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. He says, oh no. The thing I get excited about is it looks just like a restaurant. That's why I get so excited. Ah. Your version, you all will see, looks just like a restaurant. <laughs> he uses the toothpicks that they're at the end. See the toothpicks right there? He uses the toothpicks and the fries. The fries are homemade fries, like steak fries. That's why I get so excited. Okay. That That's what it is. That's the secret. Yeah. <laughs> Presentation is the key. It is. You present everything really well. Well, thank you. All right, we'll start with the ingredients. Uh, turkey, the most important ingredient, and this is going to be a good quality turkey. Um, we got the oven roasted off the bone turkey. So that's a really good one. I went to the actual deli counter and asked them for this. But you don't have to do that. The um, pre-packaged stuff, if that's what you have, that'll work uh, just fine too. The bacon's extra thick. I prefer the extra thick bacon for the club. Uh, we have butter lettuce. Um, I use the butter lettuce because um, you see how nice and uh, green that is? Yeah, that's not like iceberg. <laughs> I know. The iceberg, you know, it has the um, that white portion that's kind of hard. I like that in salads, but for sandwiches, I prefer the greener, leafier. Yeah, I call that a mouthful of water that you get. <laughs> no, but the, but the iceberg does work good. Uh, just flatten it out, and the romaine is a good lettuce, too. Um, the nice, fresh uh, tomatoes russet potatoes, mayo, your choice of bread. We got the honey wheat. Uh, we're going to cook the fries in peanut oil. That's my preferred oil, but um, vegetable oil works just as well. And then the toothpick fries. These are the kind you get them at like BJ's or Costco, and they're the kind with the nice fancy frill on top. Excellent. I think it is a good meal. You said it isn't a good meal. I think it's a good meal or a good lunch. <laughs> you can make it for me either time. Okay, the first step is we're going to cook the bacon. And when you make the club, uh, with the uh, bacon, you want to have the bacon as flat as possible. You know, sometimes bacon gets curly, but you want to ha have it um, flat. So the trick for doing that is you put the bacon in a cold frying pan. So we didn't even turn it on yet. This will help the bacon stay flat. Really? Yep. I never knew that. I've had curly bacon all my <laughs> life. Yeah, this is supposed to be the thick cut, but it doesn't feel as thick as it normally is. Okay, turn it on, and we cook the bacon. Okay, bacon is just about done. And I like to have it nice and crisp for the sandwiches. Nice and flat, just like you said. Yeah, there's still some curls, but not as much as you'd have put in a mm -hmm. hot one. All right, now it's time to put the peanut oil in. I figure I'll put this in and start heating it up while I cook the potatoes, or cut the potatoes, I'm sorry. That's about right for what we want to put in. And you're putting it on? It's on high? Yeah, on high. Um, in between medium and ultra high. Mm -hmm. While the oil's heating, I'm going to start cutting the potatoes for the french fries. Um, you can take the skin off. I always like leaving the, uh, the skin on on the potatoes. So you make that one cut on the bottom, turn it over so it's nice and steady. You want to cut the thickness. It's about maybe a little over a quarter of an inch. Cut the 
tomatoes up. I like to make them kind of thin. The um, oil's been on for about five minutes and the way I test it, I don't use a thermometer. I know there's a certain temperature you're supposed to uh, boil it at, but my testing method is you put one fry in there, be careful, but you can see how it starts bubbling. It means it's hot enough for it to uh, cook. Mm. So then I just carefully put the rest of the um, potatoes in. But again, be very careful, it's very hot oil. Very hot oil. It's a bubbling cauldron. Woo! How long are these on for about? Between five and ten minutes. Okay. Jinx is checking out your pants. She likes them all. She's rubbing See, her tail against you need them. To stop this. <laughs> she likes SpongeBob. Okay, what I do while the fries are cooking, um, I do the prep work. And because we're going to build the turkey club in layers, so I like to do this beforehand. So you get four pieces of lettuce. And you put them together, and they're actual individual pieces, and they're going to be four stacks. And there's going to be one, two stacks on uh, each sandwich. So we start off with the bottom, and on the bottom, we're going to put the bacon on top of this. five pieces of bacon on. Mm. Okay. Um, you could go between three and five. Uh, we like bacon, so we're gonna put the, the five on there. And we put the tomatoes on, four tomatoes. And we take our turkey. And we're gonna stack this on. And on this step, you could put on as much or as little as you want. And we'll do the same thing with this side. Okay, the, um, the fries, um, they look nice and brown. So they're done. So we're gonna take them out, turn the oil off. And again, be very, very careful because this is hot oil and it could burn you, yourself, you could burn yourself very easily. So take them out. Um, if you have a slotted spoon like this, this takes a lot of them out. Each scoop. And you can move that off the burner. Okay. Ooh. And I have the paper towel in there. And you could uh, start shaking to get some of the uh, oil off. But what I do at this point is uh, you just get some regular table salt. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever seen them do this in the fast food restaurants, when they have the fry station, they put the fries there, then they go ahead and they put all the salt on it. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do here. And then you can shake it with the towels and move that salt all over the place. done. So we'll let them cool for a couple minutes. Okay now remember we assembled um, the ingredients for the club over here. Um, the bread is all toasted. There's three slices per turkey club so the six slices total and the fries are done. So now all we do is assemble it and once all the bread is toasted I like to look at the, um, the tops and um, pick out the two that I like the best for the outer side of the sandwich because that's one you could see. So I put these off to the side like that. That's what I'm going to use for the top. And now I start building it. Okay, another key to a good club sandwich is heavy on the mayo. <laughs> now, sometimes we'll tell you, you know, there's some low cal or very healthy, nutritious meals. This one doesn't fall into the low cal. <laughs> with, you know, the five slices of bacon and all the mayo and then the fries. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to indulge every once in a while. And 
Crystal doesn't mind, right? No, I don't mind. <laughs> level two. And we'll put that on there. So that's level one. Put a piece of bread on. And we put mayo again. I got very excited when you salted the fries. Why is that? <laughs> I get excited when I see that when I go to a fast food restaurant if I'm in line and uh, they're salting the fries, I know I'm going to get fresh ones. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know how long that stuff is sitting there. I yeah. worry about that. So that doesn't stop me from eating it, but <laughs> I don't eat a lot of fast food though. We don't eat a lot of fast food. <clears throat> Fast food to me is like Boston Market, and that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you get, though. Okay, so we mayoed the tops, and we put them on. So you can see that's a really tall sandwich. Mm -hmm. And that's why you need the um, toothpicks to hold this together. We'll make sure they're all straight on each side. Toothpicks. They come in all these different colors. So why don't we make you a red one tonight? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the part I don't get how you do this. You're gonna make a cross. And think of it as you cut it that way, there's gonna be an individual triangle each way. Oh. You want the toothpick in the center of the triangle to hold it together. gently and let the song motion go all the way down and you're through it. Then you turn it and same thing on this side, sawing motion and hold it. Jenks wants some turkey. She could smell it. Mm-hmm. First the bacon, now the turkey. She's real interested. Okay, now the final step. Make sure your hands are clean. Pick up the fries. They cool off a little bit. And just start stacking them along the edges here. Beautiful. Turkey clubs. <laughs> <laughs>